Здравствуйте, уважаемые товарищи, дорогие друзья. Hello, dear comrades, dear friends. Now, in this final lecture, we will summarize all the previous 19 lectures, in which we became acquainted with the conception of social safety. We will summarize what was discussed, what needs to be done in order to change life, so that it will be harmonious and previous both in our country and on the entire planet. And we will start with the following. Sociology consists of two words, socio – society, and logos – word. In translation into the Russian language, this is жизнеречение. In English, this is soothsaying, or life interpretation. The task of soothsaying is solved by жрецис. Biblical Judeo-Christianity ousted national жрецис, which carried national and multinational conceptual power, and the monopoly was seized by the supra-Judeo-supra-Masonic жрецис, which in essence became pseudo -Jretsis. The latter gave people the pseudoscience of sociology, the anti-scientific nature of which is proved by the fact that the entire civilization on Earth is experiencing a global crisis. Therefore, the conception of social safety says that in true sociology there should be comparative theology and comparative Satanism, because a person himself must understand all the conglomerate and cunning nestings of a religious nature. Psychology, individual and collective, biology, genetics, as part of biology and related branches of mathematics. The sufficiently general theory of governance and related branches of mathematics. By the way, why are we talking about sufficiently general theory of governance? The entire theory of governance is known only by the Creator, while we have been given sufficient knowledge so that at a given historical segment of the development of the super-system, which we are, we can use this theory. Of course, the theory of governance can be developed and expanded, but only God knows the entire theory of governance. Theory of oscillations and related branches of mathematics. Astrology as a theory of oscillatory processes of interaction between the Earth and the cosmos. We have already repeatedly said that astrology must be returned to the field of exact sciences and used as a scientific and exact theory. Theory of global and national historical processes. These can be viewed only through the prism of processes of governance, that is, how social processes cause and effect relationships, psychology of personalities in historical processes, and so on, preceded. Linguistics. A language is a measure by which we determine all processes occurring in creation. Ethnography. Economics, which studies the social unification of labor and the processes of governance over production and distribution of products and services. Sociology itself should rise above other sciences as a new quality. Sociology is a science, the most general of the sciences of mankind, since all particular sciences must merge together in the process of soothsaying. Contemporary sociologists do not even come close to meeting what has been said here. True sociology, a true teaching about soothsaying, is very significant for people's lives. Modern sociology, however, is of a truncated nature. It studies only some statistics, records how many people voted for that candidate, how many voted for this, and so on. So, it is not science at all, if you look at it this way. From the standpoint of the conception of social safety, sociologists are жрецis, who, generally speaking, should rise in terms of their understanding above all other sciences, mastering a new quality. And what is the attitude to sociology today? 
you yourselves know. A sociologist is part of society, its child, who expresses his subjective opinion about objective issues. The subjectivism of a researcher in sociology is the only source of new knowledge about sociology, as well as a global source of errors in sociology. The only methodological problem of sociology as a science is how to educate, upbring, rear, and organize the subjectivism of the researcher in such a way so that he can receive new knowledge, can be insured against the generating of socially dangerous errors. There are no other errors in sociology. How to convince others of the authenticity of the new knowledge, which began not to correspond to their traditional ideas. So Tsuchev once wrote, And how will your mighty lever strengthen stubbornness in clever folk and lack of awareness in fools? These two problems exist in our society, and the conception of social safety breaks these stereotypes. It should be understood that this process is not easy. After all, the old is slowly given away to the new. And after solving these problems and issues, sociology will turn from well-intentioned empty verbal chatter into soothsaying. But to solve these problems, a person has to have distinction criterion. Life interpretation or soothsaying will contribute to the stable development of all mankind. And the conception of social safety aids a formation of all of that which I'm telling you about. What does the conception of social safety offer? In a very general sense, let's recall that there are six priorities of generalized means of governance. In short, they are The sixth priority – global slavery supported by force, weapons and means of destruction. But a more stable means of maintaining slavery is the weapon of genocide, the fifth priority, which includes alcohol, cigarettes, drugs, food additives, medicine, oppression of the human psyche, with all sorts of toxic substances, and so on. An even more stable means of maintaining slavery is an economic weapon. This is the fourth priority. The main thing here is that the financial credit system is based on usury. An even more stable weapon that ensures plundering, playing people against one another, and the oppression of them is an ideological weapon, the third priority. People are fooled by means of various religious cults, social technologies. The second priority is the historical algorithmic priority, which, on the basis of all kinds of historical myths, ensures the high stability of governance over slavery. In the very first place in terms of efficiency and stability is the worldview and methodological weapon. This is the first priority. A person can be given such knowledge in order that he himself will understand everything, or he can be given such knowledge in order that he won't understand how he's been fooled, he will even deny the fact that he's been fooled. So, we are constantly impacted by all these six priorities of generalized means of governance, and people, the majority of them, perceive the global system of slavery as if it is the only possible social system, the only philosophy of which is that a person has to climb to the highest point. Therefore, we say that all people need to be provided with all knowledge so that people themselves understand everything. We say that all processes are interdependent, interconditioned, and are the process of the triunity of MIM, matter information measure. All processes are governable, there are no ungovernable processes. This is the platform on which everything should be built. Moreover, it is necessary to return the correct understanding 
of the development of the global historical process, how the process unfolded in our country, how the historical process flowed at the global level, to return the historical truth about who were private ones and who were to the contrary. In particular, this concerns the personalities of Stalin, Mohammed, Jesus Christ, A. Pushkin, and so on. That is, a consideration of historical issues from the position of the first priority, but not grabbing at scattered facts. It is also necessary to stop this idiotic pluralism of opinions. This does not mean prohibiting the right to have different opinions. It is about learning how to conduct a dialogue and collectively develop the unity of opinions on different issues. Here is another distortion, crooked mirror. The truth is born in argument, they say. In arguments nothing is born, besides enmity towards each other. The truth is born in dialogue, and one should be able to conduct a dialogue. Unfortunately, we did not touch upon this topic. This is the tandem principle of governance, in which one puts forward a certain point of view, and his interlocutor opposes, looks at it from several different positions and says what is good and what is bad in the position of the first interlocutor. The proverb says, two heads are better than one, which means the third one is superfluous. One should look for unity in diversity, but not in this idiotic pluralism. We say that more than one party cannot be fed by people. But what kind of party is needed? A party that would carry the private conception. According to the unprivate conception, there are many parties, pluralism, as we say in Russian. Each golfer in the field is an agronomist. But, according to the private conception, there should be one ideology as well as one party. As for the economy, the most important thing is the prohibition of usury as a means of parasitizing and creating inflation. There has to be an introduction of the energy ruble. The parity of currencies has to be built on the principles of privateness. Speaking of our country, we have to trade only for rubles, since the power of the state is provided by the power of its energy potential. The vector of objectives of the national economic complex has to be focused on demographical determined needs, which ensure the development by a person of his genetically determined potential and stable reproduction of the generations of the super system. However, we do not live the way we work, but we live the way we are governed. Therefore, we say that responsibility for the governing labor of rulers, governors, has to be introduced. We believe that this should be done as follows. A governor comes to office. His salary should be the average in the region throughout the first year. If, after the first year, wages in the region grow, prices fall, economic indicators improve, mortality falls, birth rates rise, and so on. That is, if the governor has made it so that people have begun to live better, then his salary should be increased, he can also receive bonuses, and so on. Will this be fair, previous? We think this is fair. However, in reality today, a governor barely comes to office and he already has a high salary, privileges, and so on, but no responsibility. If the effectiveness of his governance is negative, and people's lives have deteriorated, then such a governor has to be removed, and elections are not needed in this case. If the governor or any other ruler of any rank is a thief, then he has to leave, and there is no need to wait for years until the next elections, and no impeachment is needed in this case. Moreover, what has been said can be inscribed in the legislation. So people must understand these processes. 
For this reason, we say that people need to be given knowledge. The best shoemaker can only be chosen by shoemakers. The best turner can be chosen only by those who understand turning. And who can choose the best ruler, governor? Only those who understand governance. If people do not understand anything about governance, then what kind of democracy are we talking about? It's nothing more than duping. In addition to what has been said, a person must lead a healthy lifestyle and completely exclude all kinds of idiotizing psychotropic substances – alcohol, cigarettes, drugs, and so on. That is, not take even a drop or a puff of these into his mouth at all. He has to take care of his health, eat healthily, in a sense of additive-free food, and so on. We say that stability lies in true democracy, true power of people. How to ensure the power of people? Knowledge has to be accessible for anyone and everyone. Humanists – the formation of a human psychotype. We live in a time when man has to get out of the state of serving his animal instincts. People – the vector of objectives of the development of society, oriented on achieving the demographically determined needs and seizing degradational parasitic needs. Privacyness – abandoning monopolistically high prices for the product of governing labor. The remuneration of governors has to be based on the collective principle. Honesty – abandoning usurious lending interest. Lending has to be on an interest-free basis. We need a transition to the energy invariant in the price list. These are key things. They can, of course, be detailed. In contrast to the pyramid of governance and the pyramid of knowledge, we have created the following scheme of society of humans with the capital H, a private social life arrangement. The orange represents knowledge, that is the property of society. Beyond the borders of the orange, there is the realm of the unknown, the not yet cognized. And in this unknown, there is a certain level of suprasocial governance, that is God. Society as a supersystem is constantly expanding the circle, the realm of its knowledge. The more we learn, cognize, the more from the unknown becomes known. Inside, you can see conceptual power, which is available to everyone without exception. This does not mean that there are some people sitting in some office, and that these people in conceptual power are the most important ones. It should be understood that conceptual power is not people, although it is realized through specific people. We can say that conceptual power is the axis on which everything is based, around which there exists ideological, legislative, executive and judicial powers. And unlike the pyramid of the crowd elite model of society, here every person has access to any knowledge up to conceptual power and can implement it in real life. Absolutely anyone can be a carrier of conceptual power. For example, it may be an old man from a village who might be unremarkable in appearance, but can enlighten an official with information of a governing nature. Therefore, conceptual power is not a position or a sign on the office, but an ability to rule the skill of governing over social processes. Among other things, it is also a specific state of consciousness. So, as an example, was it Yeltsin who ruled the country? Of course not. He was only an instrument. He was governed structurelessly. But speaking of conceptual power, anyone can master it. Many Russians are wondering what the structure of governance in Russia should be. But now you already know that the structure is only one-seventh of the entire function of governance. What do we offer? 
This diagram shows the predictor character scheme. So this predictor has a prognosing, predictive conceptual center and structures, the state planning committee, the federal state statistics service, the ministry of finance, the central bank, all kinds of committees. Next are all sorts of ministries, the so-called module of governance by the predictor, program adaptive module. There is also a body of deputies, a prosecutor's office, a council of honor and law, the highest Nuravis authority. There are no independent branches of governance, nor can there be any, because there are no independent processes in principle. In the regions, we have to have the same principle of predictor character. After all, there are always things that are resolved at the global level and things that are resolved at the regional level. In particular, on July 7, 1993, in an interview shown on Channel 1 of Russian television, the former long-term head of the Japanese government, Yasuhira Nakasone, said that the main thing that he did in his position was the creation in Japan of the Institute of the Study of Global Issues, Nakasone Peace Institute, NPI, which he founded in June 1988 for research and study, international exchange and other activities conducive to examining critical issues facing the world and Japan. The creation of a state-funded institute of such a kind makes sense if Japan recognizes the global level of significance of its policy and regardless of declarations, objectively follows a global conception of solving issues studied by this institute. And this institute will be quite functionally operable and correspondent to its purpose in the system of social self-governance of Japan if its politicians have enough understanding that the duties of the institute include studying global issues in order to resolve them, but not creating global issues by laying the foundation of a scientific-like nature under the already predetermined ready-made form of policy, which appeared heaven knows how, the same way as it took place in the system of science of the USSR, political party, academic and other fields and the same way as it is taking place now in Russia. This is the creation of a predictive conceptual center in Japan. We suggested that Yeltsin create a predictive conceptual center that would implement the predictor character scheme. But I want to emphasize that what has been said about the scheme of governance is not a dogma. So, in the course of life and social development, there will be corrections, since the structure should reflect the tasks that society will face. How can we achieve all this? Here is a diagram. So the crowd elite society is already crumbling, but we have not yet come into a bright future. So there will be a time of transition from one state to the other. How this will proceed and how long it will take it depends on us. Anyway, we will switch to the new mode. We have no other way. It is just a matter of time. This can be done without cataclysms, revolutions and breaking human lives. Or this process can go together with bloodshed. What is needed for this? People need to know what is going on and what to do. There have to be governors who are able and willing to take responsibility for implementing the conception of social safety. These governors have to carry out the transition through the method of preemptive inscription. The measure of the bloodshed of the oncoming events will be determined by the measure of the mastery by all people of the conception of social safety. In this sense, let's look at Putin. What problems does he have now? The entire governing corps is Yeltsin's, 
And people do not understand anything. People really do not understand anything. Remember, we looked into the automatic synchronization process. What is this? When a certain critical mass of people with a new informational state appears, then the phenomenon of automatic synchronization occurs. This is when the whole society at once enters a new state. We Russians live in an occupied country, and although there are no patrols and enemy soldiers on the streets, nevertheless we live under a fierce informational iron hill. What is the interception of governance concluded in? Here is a scheme. We have already considered the process of entrance into governance. Again, here we have an object of governance, a subject of governance, feed forward and feedback lines, and also a result of governance. These can apply to both the driver and the car, and to the government and the country. How does the interception take place? Applying this scheme, we exert an informational impact on the subject of governance, the object of governance, the educational institution, comment on government documents, tell people about the conception of social safety, and thus the impact is directed not just at the telling itself, but at setting the vector of goals, that is, we orient the whole system towards achieving a certain vector of goals. We enclose the feedback line and the result to ourselves, and according to the predictor character scheme, we bring it to the desired mode. The same can be done in relation to all of humanity, which in this case acts as an object of governance. So, you don't need to wait for any instructions from high places, it has to be done now. Here is a scheme of our state. Actually, it concerns not only Russia, but also any other state, sometimes with some nuances. Again, we see a subject of governance. The President of Russia, the State Duma, the government, state agencies, courts, all sorts of activity, education, production. And here we have an object of governance. Schools, factories, cities, various firms, enterprises, up to people. What did they do to Russia? How did they intercept governance over Russia? How did the global predictor take over governance in Russia? Look how the global predictor vilely and cunningly impacted the people informationally by means of the global predictor's conceptual power through all sorts of ideologies of liberalism, Marxism. By the method of cultural cooperation, on the basis of six priorities of the generalized means of governance, they fooled Gorbachev and his wife Raisa Maximovna, Yeltsin, all the Supreme Party authorities. They just fooled people, saying that life in the West was good, and so on. So, they set their vector of goals. And what is the result? We say, if they could do it, then we can do it. Our conceptual power states, unite and prosper, as opposed to the conception of divide pit and conquer. What do we do? We exert an impact on the president, government agencies, all cities, villages, the authorities in cities and villages, ordinary people. And in this sense, I emphasize once again, there is nothing to be afraid of, there is no need to be afraid to talk about it. I have already given an example in one of my past lectures about a teacher at school. No one stops a teacher who is mastering the conception of social safety from giving this knowledge to school children. As Plato put it, school teachers have such powers that prime ministers can only dream about. So, no one stops you from taking this power into your own hands. Moreover, we have a decree from the Ministry of Education of Russia that the conception of social safety can be read as supplementary optional courses. That is, we do not break the law. We can also give lectures in universities.
you can begin to intercept governance right now. But you shouldn't think that an interception of governance is something super large scale. For example, an interception of governance means helping someone to overcome an alcoholic addiction, quit smoking, or help even one person to want to become a human with a capital H. What if this person is a great future inventor, a writer, a movie director, or a doctor? His work will change humanity, for example. That is, an interception of governance is not a racketeering of power from officials, as it may seem erroneously. But this is, first of all, an informational influence according to the previous conception. You, being a teacher, can put in children such information, which after years will manifest itself in these children's realization of genetically determined potential. For example, one of the issues of our newspaper about sexual promiscuity changed the sexual life of many young men and women overnight. They ceased to be promiscuous. I'm not saying this for the sake of showing off. These are factually very serious things. This does not mean, of course, that everyone who read that issue changed immediately. But the bulk of them thought very deeply about what they had read. In many universities of our country, the conception of social safety and the sufficiently general theory of governance are already given as lectures. Here in Tumeny, police colonel Faina Nikolaevna Petrova defended her doctoral dissertation on penitentiary systems, based on the materials of the conception of social safety. She has developed a whole methodological base of how to carry out all this in her particular field. I can talk for a very long time, but it is important to grasp the essence. And the essence of the scheme is as follows. You don't have to wait for anything. You can start to work now. You can do something now. Master the conception of social safety. Implement it in your own life, in your professional life. It is, in its essence, work towards the liberation of your own country, since we all live in the age of informational war. Where are the wounds? No bullets, no shrapnels, no wounds on the body. But the wounds still exist. So, where are they? There are wounds and injuries in the head. People have brain contusion. And the conception of social safety, dead water, helps to heal wounds. In case of ordinary injuries and wounds, we use bandages, ointments, iodine, medications, and so on. But if we have wounds in the head, then these wounds can be healed only in the head. So, to begin with, you can cure yourself from brain contusion with the help of dead water. The conception of social safety dead water, the sufficiently general theory of governance and tri-unity worldview of MIM, matter, information and measure, heal all wounds and injuries in the head. Therefore, in this sense, there is no need to take up arms, run somewhere, eliminate someone, and so on. And since the war is of an informational nature, then it is information with the help of which we should exert an impact. The conception of unprivacyness can only be defeated by the conception of privacyness. There is no other way because other actions turn out to be unprivacy and therefore inscribed in the framework of that very unprivacy conception. That is, those who think that it is possible to get out of the unprivacy conception with the help of weapons are in fact hostages of the unprivacy conception. But if every one of us in all countries and peoples sets a certain vector of goals aimed at the transition to the privacy conception, then, in this way, humanity will be slowly introduced into a balancing mode. But this slowly will come sooner, the more people around the world begin to act in this way. 
There are people who like to watch from the side and then join those who seem likely to win. But I would like to say to such people, don't worry, we will win anyway, it will just take more time without your help. The global strategic goal of all supporters of the conception of social safety is to establish the privacy conception around the world. This is the healing of people around the world, without any exception, on all six priorities of the generalized means of governance, and above all, on the first one, that is, to heal people in the sense of worldview and methodologically, so that people themselves can understand what is happening and so that they open, realize their genetically determined potential. In addition, the goal is to contribute to the fulfillment by humanity of their main predestination, which is always harmoniously distributed among individuals. Therefore, every person around the world has to come to his predestination of the soul and acquire, comprehend the true meaning of life. Consequently, the transformation of all mankind and the change in the quality of life of all mankind begins with every individual person. All work should be done in your own psyche, true, sincere work on yourself. I mean that this is work on the transformation of your own psyche towards humanness. This means that every one of us must acquire an irreversibly human type of psyche structure. And this presupposes a very definite work of a spiritual nature on yourself. It is necessary to get rid of those automatisms and habits that are unprivacy in their essence and reflect the essence of the unprivacy conception. Many of them, by the way, are not considered unprivacy. I also mean that such work presupposes openness and a sincere desire to find the truth as it is. And this desire to find the truth as it is has to be stronger than the fear of being wrong. A refusal by a person to find the truth as it is, be it conscious or unintentionally unconscious, is a crime against himself and against humanity in principle, because such a position preserves what is generally accepted. But the fact that something is generally accepted does not mean that it is previous. In addition, we believe that a person is not born a criminal. The society in which he is born makes him a criminal. And our society and culture is of a criminal nature and deeply vicious, since the crime statistics around the world are quite high. But the worst thing is that Every kind of depravity, unprivacyness, vice lives in the head of everyone, and the nervous ethical duty of every one of us is to overcome this depravity and transform it into privacyness. This is the best struggle against objective depravity, and not only with that which is subjectively regarded to be depravity in each one of the societies. I also want to draw your attention to the fact that certain forces are opposing us. And you, having listened to all these lectures, which touch upon only a small fraction of everything that is in the conception of social safety, might guess that all this cannot delight certain forces in society. I think this is obvious and understandable to you. Therefore, they try to counteract the conception of social safety with the following methods. Had the conception of social safety and its supporters. Meanwhile, the conception of social safety says that everyone should be spiritually free from a need for leaders. Therefore, those of the supporters of the conception of social safety who blindly follow the leaders of the conception, those who speak articulately, are not actually true supporters of the conception of social safety. True supporters of the conception primarily heal their heads from contusion and do not need leaders or authoritative people. They can only take useful advice. So, if supporters of the conception of social safety, consciously or unconsciously, are looking for authoritative leaders of all kinds, 
then they are not true supporters of the conception of social safety, in fact, no matter what they say. Lead the supporters of the conception of social safety away from true goals to false ones by creating authoritative leaders. Again, if this happens in relation to some supporters of the conception, then they are not true supporters of the conception of social safety. Moreover, they never were. So discord among supporters of the conception of social safety within its movement. Again, those among whom this succeeds cannot be true supporters of the conception. Suppress supporters with informational interference so that the supporters of the conception are occupied not with the primary thing, but with some secondary ones, in fact, restraining them in the unprivacy conception. True supporters will immediately understand these tricks, and in addition, they are always in a conscious desire to work for the vector of goals that they have chosen for themselves. Distort the true essence of the conception of social safety. Introduce distortions, informational inaccuracies, contradictions, and so on into the conception of social safety. Cause people who are still unfamiliar with the conception of social safety to reject it and everything associated with it, before having the chance to study the conception of social safety themselves. A creation of all sorts of untrue horror stories about the conception of social safety, as if it is all the tricks of the Western special services, and so on. Blab on about the meaning of the conception of social safety with all kinds of verbal empty chatter. Hush up everything related to the conception of social safety. What can one actually do? What to begin with? We often hear this question. One should start with the personal mastering of the conception of social safety. These are just a few words, but there is a lot behind them. After that, if one masters the conception of social safety qualitatively, if one is not a pseudo-adherent, then one will never be the same. Moreover, it is not as easy as it might seem at first glance. This is not just an easy reading, and this is not an entertaining process, which, by the way, many people are looking for. This is not juggling secrets, not spreading rumors or myths about the world government. This is not a desire to find out their names and addresses, and so on. Mastering the conception of social safety is serious work on oneself. It is work on one's own worldview, which, by the way, is already no small task. One also needs to develop intellect, the sense of measure, establish a dialogue with God, figure out the unpleasant truth about oneself, and so on. Do you think it's easy? No, it is as arduous as to overcome the influence of the unprivacy conception. Next, one should start leading a healthy lifestyle, give up bad habits, alcohol, cigarettes, etc., entirely, not a drop or a puff in your mouth, improve one's own nutrition, do sport, and so on. We believe that one of the signs of true patriotism is the health of one's body and spirit. As one masters the conception of social safety, one should share it with others, but in no case impose anything on anyone, and do not try to prove anything to anyone. For the most part, of course, it is better to show everything by one's own example, measure of understanding, level of psychological stability, health, and so on. Few people in the world have heard about us, few people know. They know mainly only the work Dead Water, but there are also many other works. In conclusion, I want to say the following. Yes, humanity is in a very difficult situation. Yes, people live hard, but nevertheless, we live in an amazing time. Despite all the abomination of this situation, 
we live in such a new informational state, when the biblical conception is collapsing, and Russia has the conception of bringing all of humanity to a new course of development. It is absolutely clear what needs to be done and how it needs to be done. We have all opportunities for this. First, it was very difficult, as it was not clear what to do. But now, it is absolutely clear. Therefore, no matter what, we will do everything, so that people live in a true human way, truly happily, with dignity, in prosperity. But we will do it all together. The whole planet Earth, all of humanity,